In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a live stream with a wireless microphone using OBS. This is crucial, especially if you're doing a live stream where maybe you're moving. For example, this is a quick example right now. I'm moving my studio, maybe I'm doing an Amazon Live, maybe I'm showing off stuff, products, or you are into fitness, maybe uh, you need to be, uh, you know, showing people what to do or, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be punching, but whatever you're doing and you need to be moving around, that's where you're mostly going to be needing a wireless microphone. So I'm going to show you how to position your microphone to make sure it sounds good and how to connect it to your computer and all the best settings in OBS to make sure it sounds good. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's going on guys? My name is Sam. You're watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to actually connect your microphone, different ways of connecting it. So now personally, I'm using this budget wireless microphone kit from seven rhymes. You can check it out link in the description, but the same concept applies to any wireless microphone kit. So the first way to connect your microphone is going to be to use a USB cable. Now, most microphones Microphones are going to come with a USB cable, including the one that I'm using here. And if you go to OBS right here, as you can see, I'm using it to record this video. What you need to do, usually you have your camera already set, okay? And then you go to that same scene, okay? And then hit the plus sign, okay? Just, I'm gonna show you how to add it to OBS. And then what you need to do is, you're gonna go to audio input capture, and then you can call it, they say wireless mic, and then hit okay. And then here under devices, if you have it connected using usb it's going to show up here and you can go ahead and actually connect it no problem now personally i'm gonna give you a warning using and testing this microphone maybe for either high-end microphones could be different i found out that the usb option sounds a little weird it's too digital and it's kind of over processed and i found the best way was actually to use the analog way which is gonna be what i'm gonna show you right now so what you need to do do, this microphone is going to come with the TRRS cable. So what you need to do is you're going to take that cable and connect it to your receiver. And then the other end is going to connect to your computer. Now, depending on the computer, the type of computer that you have. So most of your computer on the back of your computer, you're going to have something that looks like this one, this image right here. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to find the right plug for the microphone. And in most cases, it's going to be, if you can see this diagram here it's gonna be this one right here all right the first one the one that looks a little purple kind of thing ish this is where you're gonna connect your microphone jack into okay now once you have it connected you go to obs and we're gonna do the same thing we just did okay so what you need to do is you go under microphone wireless you don't have to do the same process again but you can do it so i'm gonna go ahead and go to properties and I'm gonna show you the device is gonna show up as microphone high definition audio device, okay? So this is the one that you're gonna choose. Again, you have so many microphones are going to show up here, but to add it to OBS, this is the one that you need to choose. Microphone high definition audio device connected directly to your computer. Now, as soon as it's connected, you're gonna see a signal. And as you can see, you can see my signal right now, I have it connected. That's how I'm actually recording this video. So the next thing that is actually super, super crucial, you need to make sure the levels, again, depending on the microphone, you need to check, especially if you're using a budget microphone like this one, make sure the volume is around 65 to 75%. Don't go all the way to 100% because you may start clipping. Again, you need to test, test, and test. It's important you need to do a lot of tests and make sure you find the perfect part that goes with your voice and uh, to make sure you don't clip because you don't want to be too low, but you also don't want to be too loud because you're too loud, the microphone is going to start clipping. All right, so next thing, what we need to do, another crucial thing you need to do before you start recording, you need to go where it says on the speaker sign on your computer, click on it, right click on it, and then go to sounds okay and then once it opens you need to go to recording and then you need to find the microphone usually it's gonna be popping so you do some testing and it's gonna show up here yours it's gonna be high definition audio device okay and should say ready and then as you can see you can see the signal 
you need to right click to it go to properties okay and then go to levels okay and then make sure levels are set at 100 microphone and then microphone boost personally i found out that if you add a little bit of boost like i boosted it at 10 percent it sounded really really good compared to if it was a zero percent so i did a 10 percent boost again you can test but personally 10 percent sounded better okay and then hit okay so if you go to obs everything should be good now if i was to change that to something like 50 percent the signal in obs is actually going to be low which is gonna be weird okay but now once you have it set that way you are actually good to go so now that you see how to connect the microphone another way of connecting microphone is actually by using if you already have an interface like right now i use the roadcaster duo okay uh, or you have any other interface that you are using to live stream because usually this is my main microphone that I use for live streaming. So what you do is, uh, let's say you want to use both microphones. Maybe you have streams where sometimes you're sitting and you don't want to use the wireless mic, but you want to have it ready in case you need to be moving around, okay? You can actually use this little adapter and then connect to your broadcaster duo or any other interface, okay? Again, I'm going to leave a link down below. And this is going to allow you to connect using a TRRS cable, little jack, okay? Into to the broadcaster duo or any other interface and then you're gonna be able to have that mic kind of maybe on channel number two and you can use that sometimes switch between the wired and wireless microphone so in that case in obs now let's go to properties instead of adding the high definition one for example your interface but mine will be the broadcaster duo that will be the one that i'll be adding and then from there uh, i'll be switching back and forth between my wired microphone and my wireless microphone phone depending on what i need okay now next up we're gonna talk about the positioning because where you position your microphone is very very important now for most wireless microphones you want to make sure it actually the closer usually the closer the better but you don't want to be too close because if you put it too close and then you may start clipping and then you get too loud and then it's gonna be weird it's not gonna sound good so the positioning i'll say maybe four five seven six inch from your mouth usually is the perfect spot depending on what you are wearing some people don't like the microphone showing in the frame but most of these budget microphones you don't have a choice you kind of have to wear it somewhere here on your shirt and make sure the capsule is pointing directly to your mouth and you should be good to go also make sure like avoid to have some clothing uh, kind of you know rubbing on the top of your microphone because it's gonna create some weird sound but other than that as you can hear my microphone sounds really really good now most of these microphones the only thing you have is to actually be able to do a quick recording and test the sound scream use your loudest voice and find the perfect spot and that's gonna do it okay so guys as you can see the microphone is balanced the sound is balanced again you can go ahead and actually tweak the volume here in obs if you see that you're clipping you can tweak it a little bit but mostly what's important is really to make sure the initial volume on the gain on the actual receiver it's well set don't put too much and don't put too low but also the positioning of your microphone is very very important and also the other thing is to go in windows or mac depending on which one you're using and make sure it's actually 100 percent and boost it around 10% usually it works great and then from there you can create multiple scenes and be able to go live on YouTube or Facebook however this is not enough if you want to be able to use OBS exactly what we just created and add other scenes and be able to actually go live to YouTube or Facebook so I'm gonna recommend you watch the next video where I show you step by step how to go live to YouTube using OBS or if you want to go live to Facebook there's another video that that I recommend here that you watch so make sure you check them out and I will see you there guys take care